I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Peekaboo. Yourself a golden goose. 
think I'm shitting any eggs. Forget it. What? You just gonna stare at me to death? Number one about interrogating someone is actually asking questions. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Someone should. Yeah. Tell her my hands are vice stuff, and I've swallowed a pint of my own blood. What's going off? What? Big balls, Michonne. Big bombs. Or are you afraid to talk to my sis? You should be. Half the boys in the Union were terrified of her. There was this one fella. <laughs> always, always gave her shit. Till one day, she hoisted him up on a hydraulic lift. Damn near tore him a new asshole. <laughs> she got the nickname Storm and Norma after that. I can't believe it stuck. That's what I thought. You think you're tough with that blade? Or you're just a pussy, like everyone else. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties, too. I saw their little heads in the window. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. I'm not letting you hurt anyone. Well, not until Norma gets here and I skip bare ass free out the front gate. And that will happen. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Michonne, is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Sam, I'm. I'm sorry. No! 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 James! If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First good question asked all night. Shone's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. Randall killed my dad. He made Zachary kill Greg. He more than earned being beaten to death. You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! Well, I ain't had the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. We both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. Well, maybe. Maybe you think. You can rise above all that. 
But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. Now that is some biblical shit, ain't it? This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> or died in, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about them. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Guess that means the dance is over. Oh, well, no one will be here soon. Your funeral. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Ooh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. One. No, I'm good. No, your loss. Mmm, coffee. Hey, city, did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Berto, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny. <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. We worry about you, you know? Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. I would have gone in alone. If I had another chance, I wouldn't have gone in at all. After my brother... A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. Didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. I know you think 